What if I told you that in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, there exists an island that has been home to one of the most intriguing mysteries the world has ever known? Yes, we're talking about Easter Island, a tiny speck of land located over 2,000 miles off the western coast of Chile. This isolated island, also known as Rapa Nui, is famous for something quite extraordinary, the Moai. These are enormous stone figures, some towering over 30 feet high, that dot the island's landscape. Each Moai is unique, bearing different facial features and expressions. Some even sport red stone hats, known as Pukau. Carved by the island's early inhabitants, these silent sentinels have been standing guard for centuries. Their presence, a testament to human ingenuity, in the face of extreme isolation. But how did this remote island come to our attention? And what secrets does it hold? Our journey begins in the year 1722 on Easter Sunday. As the sun rose that morning, a Dutch explorer named Jacob Roggeveen, along with his crew, first laid eyes on a remote island in the Pacific Ocean. This island, as you may have guessed, was named Easter Island in honor of the day it was discovered. Roggeveen and his crew were taken aback by the island's inhabitants. They found a complex society of people with their own customs and traditions. The island was lush, filled with palm trees, and the natives seemed to live in harmony with their environment. The most astounding sight, however, were the giant stone statues known as Moai. These statues, some towering over 30 feet tall, were scattered across the island. They were carved from compressed volcanic ash, and each one had its own unique features. Rogovin and his crew were left puzzled by these statues and the civilization that created them. Little did they know their discovery was just the beginning of a fascinating unraveling of history. So who were the early inhabitants of this mysterious island? Let's travel back in time to a period around the 7th century AD. The first settlers of Easter Island, or Rapa Nui as it's traditionally known, were Polynesians. These seafaring people navigated the vast Pacific Ocean, journeying from the west in their double-hulled canoes. But why did they choose this remote island over 2,000 miles from any other land? Theories abound, yet the most compelling suggest they were drawn by the island's rich volcanic soil, ideal for agriculture. Now imagine a society thriving on this isolated landmass. The Polynesians developed a unique culture, their lifestyle shaped by the island's resources and their seafaring origins. They were farmers, fishers and remarkable craftsmen. Yet their most enduring legacy lies in the massive stone statues known as Moai. These Moai weren't just decorative, they were a testament to the Polynesians' deep respect for their ancestors. Each statue was painstakingly carved and erected in honor of a deceased chieftain or important individual. Through these monoliths, the living could connect with their ancestors, seeking guidance and protection. But the creation of these sculptures was no small feat. It required a sophisticated understanding of stoneworking techniques, as well as an organized workforce. The size of these monoliths is impressive, but what's truly astonishing is how they were transported across the island. The Moai, weighing up to 80 tons, were somehow moved from the quarry to their final resting places on stone platforms called Ahu. Theories about this feat range from them being rocked back and forth to the use of a system of ropes and sledges. It's thought that the island's entire community must have been involved in their creation, a testament to the ingenuity and determination of this ancient civilization. But as fascinating as their creation is, it's the downfall of this civilization that's truly intriguing. What led to the collapse of such a vibrant civilization? This question has been the focal point of various theories and debates. The downfall of the Rapa Nui civilization on Easter Island wasn't an overnight occurrence. It was a gradual process marked by several contributing factors that chipped away at the society's foundation. One of the leading theories points to deforestation. As the Rapa Nui people continued to build and transport their monumental Moai statues, they needed more and more timber. 
The once lush forest of Easter Island was gradually depleted till there was virtually nothing left. With the disappearance of the forest, the ecosystem began to falter. The loss of trees led to soil erosion, which in turn made agriculture difficult. The island's bird species, which the Rapa Nui relied on for food and feathers, dwindled and eventually disappeared. Overpopulation was another nail in the coffin. As the population burgeoned, the demand for resources increased, further straining the already fragile ecosystem. The island's carrying capacity was pushed to its limits and beyond. The societal structure began to crumble under these pressures. The Moai, once proud symbols of power, were toppled, perhaps in anger or despair, symbolizing the collapse of the society. The history of Easter Island serves as a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between human societies and our environment. This story of societal collapse echoes through time, reminding us of how easily the scales can tip, leading to our downfall.